Making all kind of changes. Yeah, they have to have a change to get back to the top like they were, well, many years ago. Bears began another voluntary minicamp this afternoon in Lake Forest. They are rebuilding Hallis Hall right along with the team. And if practice is any indication of how the, play, uh, the Bears plan to win games, then speed will be at the top of the list. Rafer Weigel continues the story from Hallis Hall. The Mark Tressman era literally is off to a fast start. We got our first glimpse at Hallis Hall, how the new Bear coach likes to run things. He uh, gets involved, uh, not only offensively, but defensively. Uh, he, he makes sure everyone uh, realizes that uh, he, he's all over the field. He's watching everybody, and he wants everyone into the game. Our only goal today was to practice fast. That was it, to try to develop how do we want to practice, a tempo of practice where we can keep our players safe, keep them off the ground. We're in and out of the huddle. Um, we, I think we want to try to create a, as game-like atmosphere as possible. We want to put pressure on guys. Uh, we want to put pressure on the quarterback, uh, both mentally and, and the defense is getting after them. Jay Cutler will have to be a fast learner. This will be his third system in four years. So is the change frustrating or exciting for the QB? Um, probably a little bit of both. Uh, you know, anytime uh, you, you come into a new system, uh, it's hard. It's like learning a new language. He's hoping the marriage with Tressman will pay off as he's in the final year of his contract. I'm not worried about those things. Uh, every year uh, you put pressure on yourself. Uh, every team in the NFL right now is preparing to win the Super Bowl. I've just been completely impressed with his level of uh, football intelligence and understanding and, and uh, his ability to articulate and, and communicate in meetings. It's been very, very easy to get started. Next week is the NFL draft where the Bears currently will pick 20th. Phil Emery confirmed the team did meet with Manti Teo. Noticeably absent from the offense was Devin Hester, who worked only with special teams today. At Hallis Hall, Rafer Weigel, ABC 7 News. <laughs>